Hello everyone, this is Nitesh Kumar and welcome to Nitesh Labs. Today I am up with another video of design and development of gesture control transmitter and receiver card. This is RF based gesture control card. Accelerometer is the major component of this card. When the card is tilted in right, left, up and down direction, it produces a signal. This signal is transmitted via RF and received and processed at other end. More details about the project is explained in this video. If you have any query related to this project, please feel free to contact me. You can contact me through my mail ID or by commenting at the comment section. My mail ID is niteshkumar027 at the rate of gmail.com. This complete system consists of two cards, one transmitter card and second receiver card. I will deal in detail with the design and development of both the cards. This card is very useful for controlling robotics cars. It can also be used for other applications like controlling light system or controlling wheelchair or any other application which depends upon user imagination. The affecting range of this device is 100 meter. Let us first start with the design and development of the transmitter card. This is a complete BOM of the transmitter card. The major components are SD12V encoder, LM324, NG quad op amp, LM7805 voltage regulator, 415 MHz RF transmitter module, ADXL335 accelerometer. Rest are associated resistors and capacitors. This is the complete schematic of gesture control wireless transmission card. Here the major components are LM324 quad op amp, I am talking about this, ST12V decoder, this one, LM7805 voltage regulator, it is placed over here, ADXL335 accelerometer, this is placed over here. I have just created the footprint so that you can insert the module and solder it on the board. 415 MHz RF transmitter this is placed over here similarly here also I have just created the footprint so that you can insert the module and solder it 10k presets like here total of 4 presets are used 1 2 3 and 4 now let us try to understand the working of the circuit Here I have used a voltage regulator 7805. This voltage regulator converts the given input voltage to 5 volt. And this 5 volt is being used by all the devices which are working or placed over here. Like quad op amp, 415 MHz transmitter, ST12 v decoder, LM7 LL uh, LM324 quad op amp and so on. So give the input of the input for this 7805 is being given through a 9 volt battery. You can also use a 12 volt battery but it will be a bulky thing. So since it is a handheld device so it's pref uh, it is preferred to use smaller 9 volt battery. Now let us try to understand the signal flow. Here the accelerometer, accelerometer gen, uh, generates the signal which is fed to the LM324 quad op amp. 
accelerometer signals are fed to the LM324 quad op-amp this is the accelerometer signals and this generates the signals which is fed to this quad op-amp here LM324 is used as a comparator so this is an op-amp this is a quad op-amp it can be used in the various ways so uh, what we are doing it here here we are using this particular thing as a quad op-amp we are sorry quad comparators so we are generating four comparator circuits out of this here four comparators comparator voltages are created via four 10k preset resistors so what we are doing we are generating actually four comparator uh, four comparable voltage via this four 10k resistors so you can see so these are the four sorry these are the four 10k resistors one two three and four all are getting the inputs from this uh, lm705 voltage regulator v0 is feeding this as a input and then they they are uh, uh, these are getting into this lm324 quad op amp so they all these four creates four different reference voltages which are being set with the help of uh, this presets now the four com the four comparator uh, comparator voltages are then compared with the signals coming from this accelerometer so this accelerometer generates basically six signals plus x minus x plus y minus y plus z minus z so when you uh, when you tilt this accelerometer uh, towards right side left side upside downside or if you take it to uh, if you take it to bottom level uh, close to the close to the earth or away from the earth so all this corresponding six signals will be generated here we are not using the z-axis we are only using x and y axis that is why we are taking considering only four signals now these signals when they are when they are till when uh, when this device is tilted uh, it generates the signals and when this generate the signals they enter into this lm324 quad op amp here already we have created some ref uh, uh, we, uh, we have already created the co uh, the comparator vol uh, voltage signals so which is here we uh, the signals generated from this accelerometer are compared with those standard voltages which we have created as the reference and when found equal then this op amp generates this output signal so when th when the output signal is being generated by this lm324 quad op amp it is then fed to this st12v decoder st12v decoder then decodes these signals and then trans uh, then transmit this signal via this rf transmitter this is the complete working of this schematic design once you are done with the schematic now it's time to go for the layout you can use any of the pcb design software you want here i'm using design spark for my convenience this is the complete layout design of the board I'll just enlarge it for your convenience this is a double sided board length of the board is 80 mm and the width of the board is 67 mm now let us look at the placement of the components
yes sorry this is the complete placement of the component as you can see this u2 is quad opam this r1 r2 r3 r4 these are the four 10k preset resistors which are placed along the quad opam ic next to the r3 i have placed u1 u1 is nothing but st12v encoder r1 r19 these are the associated resistors which helps in tuning the st12v just top of the u1 is the ic1 this is lm7805 voltage regulator L left to the ic1 lm7805 sorry okay so this part is reserved for the accelerometer toward the right this space is being created for inserting the uh, 415 megahertz transmitter you can place it and solder it over here this is the this is the led which is placed uh, to indicate that uh, battery voltage is coming this bug is kept over here so that you can uh, uh, you can solder the wires and then connect uh, you can connect the connector so that you can uh, connect the battery through this so this is a complete layout design uh, layout uh, layout diagram which will help you to uh, which will help you in placing your component on the board once you are done with the placement you can start routing according to your convenience so let me show you a complete root routed board this is the complete routed board now let me show you only the top layer yes this is the top layer almost nearly all the components are placed on the top layer as you can see now let me show you only the bottom layer this is a complete bottom layer now let me show you the complete board once again this is the complete board now let us convert the design into a 3d design and see how it looks going to the 3d view and thus generating it this is the 3d view of the board here you can see this uh, this is the top layer this is how it will look uh, once uh, you know uh, everything is uh, assembled on the graphics design and this is the bottom part once you are done with the transmitter design now let's go for the receiver design this is the complete schematic of just a control wireless receiver card the major components used in this card are lm7805 voltage regulator this voltage regulator converts the given voltage to 5 volt which is used by the 415 uh, uh, 4, uh, 415 megahertz rf receiver and st12v decoder the other components are uh, rf receiver and st12v decoder rest are uh, indicator leds and 
configuring registers when the signal is, when the rf signal is being received by this rf receiver it is then uh, this receiver then pushes that signal to the st12 v decoder the st12 v decoder then decodes the signal which was encoded by st12 v encoder after decoding after decoding the signal it generates a, it, it generates another signal which is being available at this four box strips now since these signals which are available at these four box strips can be used in a way we wanted these are the four different LED indicator LEDs which are placed over here this helps us in this uh, this helps us in uh, locating whether the signal is being received or not the schematic is fairly simple and there is nothing more to explain in this schematic once you are done with the schematic now it's time to go for the layout you can use any of the PCB design software you want here I am using design spark for my convenience this is the complete layout design of the board this is a double sided board the length of the board is 59 mm and the width of the board is also 59 mm now let us look at the placement of the component this is the complete placement of the component as you can see U1 is the ST12D decoder these are the four LEDs which are put as indicator LEDs these are the configuring registers this is the power LED H5 is the bug output bug connector this bug is used for placing uh, for placing the RF receiver IC1 is uh, LM7805 voltage regulator CT1 is a connector through which you can uh, yeah, you, you can feed the 12 volt input J1 is a SMA connector which is pushed so that you can put antenna external antennas you can put there's nothing much in this card now once you are done with the placement it's time to start routing this is the complete board after routing now let me show you only the top layer this is a complete top layer of the card most of the component or I would say that almost all the components are placed on the top layer now let us see only the bottom layer this is the bottom layer of the card let us see the complete board once again and this is the complete board once again now let us generate the 3d view of the design and see how it looks over there sorry this is already created so now we'll generate it once again this is a 3d view okay so this is how the 3d view comes and the board looks something like this okay this is the top layer and this is the bottom layer of the card
this is the complete card after assembly this is the transmitter card and this is the receiver card now let us see the working demo of this project this is fully assembled transmitter card and this is fully assembled receiver card when both the play cards are placed in the single frame now this is the complete setup with connected batteries when we tilt the transmitter card in the right left top and bottom direction a separate LED glows at the receiver end indicating that transmitted signal is being reflected at the receiver end this was a short video on design and development of RF based gesture control transmitter and receiver card all the necessary files and Gerber files are provided for download the complete product is also available for sale the cost of the product is rupees 2500 one need to contact me directly through my mail ID to purchase this product if you want to build the project all the necessary files are available for download I also request you to please share this video so that it reaches the people who actually are looking for such kind of videos like robotic enthusiast hobby electronics people robotics group etc thank you